Hello, everyone. This is your boy, Nick Avelli King, and you on Real Talk with Nick. Listen, man, I want to start off by saying I appreciate everyone who tunes in to Real Talk with Nick. I really do. I realize that the channel success is only based on the viewership. So I appreciate you, man. All right? I really do. But I got to say this, man. I recently did an interview with my beloved brother, Kevin Williams. And the interview was getting a lot of traction because the title itself is very controversial. It's basically saying that Dante DiVincenzo is a better fit on the Knicks than Mikhail Bridges. And a lot of y'all is losing your mind. But I can say, for the most part, the majority of y'all is being respectful. Y'all know how to speak, express your feelings, and say, listen, I don't like what you're saying, or I don't agree with what you're saying, without being disrespectful. But there's always that one person, man, that crossed the boundary. Now, Kevin Williams, my brother, man, he don't even know I'm dropping this video, but it's a must, man, because my brother's hurt, and my brother shouldn't feel hurt, man. He looked out for me. He ain't have to do it. He's coming on my channel, giving his narrative about the game concerning the NBA. And although I appreciate that anybody can get it, meaning just because he's an NBA or a former NBA player, we can't disagree. I like the fact that you're not all agreeing with what Kevin Williams saying. It makes the channel more authentic. And it, it shows Nick that you're a free thinker and you could think for yourself. But God damn, can you be more creative when it comes to discussing the game that we call basketball? If you have a dissension with someone and you don't agree with their narrative, why do I got to be called the cokehead, man? Why you got to disrespect a brother to the point where he want to meet up with you and shoot a fade, man? Come on, man. Let's not disrespect anyone that come along Real Talk with Nick, man. If you disrespect someone to the point where there's no coming back, I'm going to have to block you. And I don't want to block no one, man. This is just a game, man, a sport. We are not always going to agree. We shouldn't have to be disrespectful like that. You shouldn't have to talk about nobody's moms. You shouldn't have to talk about somebody sounding like a coke head, talking about, oh, well, that's how a coke head talk. You don't know this, brother, man. It's a grown-ass man, man. And I'm praying to God that I'm addressing this to a youngster because I'm looking at the aggravator. And it's the ages between 17 to about 54 that views Real Talk with Nick. I pray to God it's not no grown-ass man telling another grown-ass man that you sound like a fucking coke cat because you don't know what you're talking about concerning DiVincenzo being better than Mikhail Bridges. When you simply could have said, you're bugging. You don't know what you're talking about. Let me show you the stats. Why are we disrespecting people talking about their mother, talking about whether they on coke or not? This ain't the channel for it. So please, man. Please. And I'm not showing no favoritism because the person who said it, if you was on my channel being, excuse me, if you was on my channel expressing yourself concerning the game of basketball and someone disrespected you, I would have the same energy, man. Because once again, without people participating on Real Talk with Nick and without the viewership, my channel is nothing. It's nothing. So, like, I respect the viewership. I respect people commenting on, 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 on Real Talk with Nick. I just can't accept the disrespect. Because I want all my guests to feel comfortable. I want all my guests to feel as if it's okay to come on Real Talk with Nick and voice their opinion. And I want them to know that even though people's going to get at them, that it's not going to go that far. I ain't even catch it, man. This video with Kevin Williams got, like, 1.7 views man One thousand. so I can't keep up with the comment section and know what's being said like I'm not always there just 
tuning in, waiting to see what's being said. But my brother's hurt, man. And I feel if I don't address it, it's like I'm condoning. Because this is the only reason why I'm speaking on this. It's not like I'm trying to make this bigger than what it is. I just want to address it and say that I can't accept this, man. Please, man. Please. Let's learn how to disagree. Hmm? Let's learn how to disagree, man. There's other ways to express yourself without just making shit up, saying shit to degrade someone. And, and, and it's not it's just not right, man. It's just not right, man. And I don't want to block nobody, man. Maybe you ain't mean nothing by it. Maybe that's your way, but not everybody's going to accept that shit, man. That's a young man way of speaking, man. Motherfuckers is OGs out here. They ain't having that. And like me and my brother, the predicate, we had a discussion about this. And he said the same shit happened to him. He had to check somebody. He voiced his opinion about somebody concerning the game of basketball. And someone responded on Twitter saying, yo, you, you on coke? These OGs ready to fuck shit up. They ready to shoot the fade, man. I mean, these OGs out here don't talk like that, man. So even though this person probably ain't mean no harm by it, it's just not a good vibe, man. And I appreciate it if you don't bring that kind of tension on this show. Man. But other than that, I appreciate everyone who's tuning in, man. I'm having a great time doing this channel, man. And I appreciate everyone's good shit. So this is just a small thing. I just don't want it to spiral out to be something else, man. Let's be respectful, man. Let's have fun, man. And a simple get the fuck out of here with that shit was all that could have been needed and said. But I ain't gonna front. I do like the fact that even former NBA players gets it. Just because he's a former NBA, you can say you don't know what you're talking about. But when you start being disrespectful, talking about a person's mother, talking about, oh, they must be a cokehead to be talking like that. To you, it might be a little brush off. But to the other person, man, they highly offensive behind that shit and they ready to square off with you. So let's not take it. Let's not take it there. Peace. Appreciate everyone. One love. Let's go next.